Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Rule of Rose. Brown wants me to go through this door so we can find Martha. I heard sweeping. I think there were monsters on the other side of that barricade. If I remember correctly, there were, or at least will be. What's this? What's this? Let me pick it up! Jennifer found a dirty rag. That's unfortunate. It smells rank! <laughs> In the dark room, the un an unknown occupant spoke in a shrill voice. Gasp! I was a mighty witch, yet now I am but a powerless wretch, rubbish and dust. My precious, precious key, I hid it secretly. I hid it in a pure, dirty place. I hid it secretly. Your eyes cannot find it. You are truly a poor, unlucky girl. Dun, dun, dun. I know exactly where the key is, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> get wrecked. I uh, don't really need this anymore. Never mind. Uh, I'll just throw it away. My lap. Dirty rag. Find. I'll drop you too. Why not? I'll drop you because you're not useless to me. Let's go, Brown! So we've got the rag. Remember that little, um, wall that was covered in cloth that I said, why, well, why not just tear it down? Hi, Amanda! That's where the key is. So we have to go all the way back there and hope that we don't get ambushed between here and there. And by hope, I mean... We're probably going to get ambushed between here and there. Run away! Run away! At the moment, however, we're not having to worry too much about getting attacked. -ed. Attack, attack, did. Attack, a lack, did. Attack, a lucky, lucky, did. Smoking room! That's not healthy. The boy's gone. For a second there, I thought it was going to slam shut in front of me. Well, gosh darn it, don't make me go the long way, game! Go! Okay, Brown, go! Even though I know exactly where you're going! We're going over here! Wait, what, oh, oh, right here! You're going right here. You're going right here. There you go! Now, tear it down for me, because apparently I am far too weak to tear it down myself? Key! Jennifer found the three-leaf key. It is shaped like a three-leaf clover. So let's go get ourselves that butterfly. Come on, Brown. Come on, Brown. At least he listens better than Huey. But Jeebs, if you tell him to stay, he stays. If you tell him to come, he comes. If you tell him to search, he searches. He doesn't ignore you like Huey does. Much to commentate on because there is not a lot going on right now. The return of my scene to the background music. The game does pick up the use inside the door to the pit to hell. Granted, pretty much every single door in this game is some version of a pit to hell and or purgatory. And according to one theory, that's not even a joke! <laughs> I can't remember which room this was in. And yet I threw away the butterfly balls. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm gonna go over here. There's a, I remember something being over here. Am I wrong? Not yet, okay. Now, since I put away the butterfly when I probably shouldn't have, let's see if I can do this off of memory. Oh, maybe this light has something to do with it. <laughs> People? Mm -hmm. 
I see you, Manda. So she's got her butterfly. It won't be as pretty as my butterfly. Anyway, there is a theory that this entire game is the character in Purgatory. Kind of similar to the Link is Dead theory from Majora's Mask. Can, can I, can I, can I, please? Manda? Sup, Manda? You're creepy. The unlucky girl met Amanda, the small-hearted princess. The princess's round face loomed large as she spoke to the girl. I don't think she spoke. Oh, never mind. <laughs> she didn't say anything. She's just breathing really hard. Amanda's a creeper, by the way. I'm sorry if your name is Amanda, but this iteration of your name is a creeper. Anyway, like I was saying, the theory is that, and then Amanda comes out here, the theory is that Jennifer is dead and this entire thing is purgatory going around, you know, her past that she can't remember because she has an am she's has amnesia for most of her childhood. That's one theory, at least, because uh, this game doesn't make much sense. You're creepy, Amanda. I'm not gonna take your damn butterfly. I ain't gonna take your damn butterfly. And then I need this. Thank you. Butterfly case, so then we can then tell Huey to sniff it! Hey, Huey. Hey, Huey. I got something, fools, yes. Now find me a butterfly, slave! Even though I already know where the butterfly is. Bum, ba, dum. We're actually almost at the end of this chapter. This game is rather short. It the other chapters are longer, and there is one chapter that's really three in one, but... Bum, ba, dum. Butterfly! It's a pretty blue butterfly! I'm gonna catch it. And I'm not going to have it get wrecked by a pair of... by some forks or anything else. Because that would be bad. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, it's a butterfly. Hi, butterfly. You are now two booty flies. Hi. You are now four booty flies. They're multiplying. It's the butterfly apocalypse. Until we end up with a cloud of butterflies. Butterflies. Just reach up and grab one, Jennifer. And then they somehow disappear through the doorway. Even though the door was not open for that to have been possible. Butterfly! This makes me wish that I could still watch or find my old. A I made an AMV to this game to, um. Uh uh. This is Halloween from. Uh. Nightmare for Christmas. It, was, it wasn't the one from the movie, it was a. Like, remix cover of the song. It didn't get into the contest because this game is way too graphic and horrific for it, and technically the videos had to be PG-13, but... <laughs> and this game is rated M, Mature 17+. plus. <laughs> it's, still, it's still a good AMV. I mean, old. The graphics weren't necessarily good because I had to rip the cutscenes or find the footage on... like, find footage online of the cutscenes, but... Stray Dog gives us sweets. Stray Dog kidnaps kids. Nobody is saying anything. Stray dog comes at night. Children who don't clean up will be punished. Hello, boys and girls. <gasps> Stray dog comes for you! <sighs> it's time for some cleaning. 
Usually the monsters come out in full force once you've got the uh, item that you need for the chapter. Every item's got one. Also, gimme! Give gimme, give gimme! Give oh, listen to what they're saying, by the way. Listen to it. Come on, Brown! Listen, just listen. Did you guys get it? Okay. Kind of in the same vein as Half-Life, um, the monsters in this game, the sounds that they make, like the mo- the weird moaning, whispering sound. Nope, sorry for me. They're saying a bright red crayon just for you, backwards. So they took somebody's- if you- you can find it online, somebody who reversed it, but if you take just- isolate just one of them saying it, and reverse it, they're saying a bright red crayon just for you. Because another name for the aristocrat club is the Red Crayon Aristocrats. Nope! Ignored! Oh. I was gonna say no more music for me, but well, that guy failed. I love how it's supposed to be this intense fighting music. I'm just like, screw it, I'm running. <laughs> running like I stole something because I kind of did. I kind of, kind of did. And faint! Faint and faint. Wait, can I go through here yet? Oh, that was, um, that was close. Can I go in here yet? No, I cannot! Darn it! That is for another chapter. Hi! You have a rat head. Brown, get your butt over here. Oh, sup, bruh? Sup? I'ma just go this way if you don't mind. It seems like it's something that's probably a good idea for me at this point. Okay. The music is still playing, yet there are no monsters in this room. Raise to the box! We must give people the butterfly! First class guest sector. I don't think there's monsters here either, is there? No. Amanda gave a but she got to it first. That's bad. That's that's bad. My butterfly is prettier though. It's pretty and blue and it glowed. And it didn't really get, you know, injured or torn up, it just got shocked to death. Bye, Amanda. Make an offering to the Red Crayon Aristocrats. Let me in. I don't know. Why not? Oh. Yeah. It's her first time. Yeah. Is it now? She's new. My, so my butterfly fast. was freaking beautiful. Excuse you. My butterfly was gorgeous. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. <laughs> also, cutscene. Time to get wrecked, honey. She does that a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aristocrat Club. Thank you all for gathering here today. Why does she have a book of all of this? Does she write it down beforehand? Hi, Diana. She reminds me so much of Eve from Parasite Eve, it's not even funny. She looks like her. Just, just wait. Just wait. Wait for it. <laughs> right about your now. Disgrace. Right there. Right there. She looks just like Eve from nothing Parasite Eve. Worse than nothing. Also, you're a jerk. Your gift is worth <laughs> nothing. My gift was a beautiful butterfly. 
She's a jerk. Also, she looks like Eve there as well. Amanda. 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 Little Amanda. kids are jerks. By the way. Amanda. Yes, that's a stick with a rat tied to it. It's a rat! It's a rat! And then she smiles because she's so hot. Rats in her face! And then she passes out. Amanda is still creepy though. Amanda will never not be creepy for one. And for two, Jennifer passes out a lot in this game. If that was me, if somebody was pushing a rat on a stick in my face, I just would have gone, batted it aside, took it away, and smacked them with it. Of course, not the side with the rat on it, I would smack them with the harder side, because that's not very nice to the rat. I mean, the, the rat's a, the rat's good people. How do we know the rat's not good people? The rat could totally be good people. I still don't, I still don't, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have saved over my old one. Oh well! I usually want to keep two files so I can switch between the two, but I don't want to get rid of mine with Emily. When the unlucky girl awoke, she was back in the strange room. The boy in white clothes looked down with knowing eyes and spoke to her. Okay. Well, do you remember what a bad girl you were? You haven't gotten your memory back yet, have you? Well, you've done many, many bad things. <laughs> You'll just have to remember them little by little. And when you fully remember the, what a bad girl you were, this game will end. Now take your stupid dog and continue their little game. <laughs> Dear Jennifer. <laughs> Joshua's a jerk. May 1930, Sir Peter. And she passes out again and wakes up elsewhere. That's pretty much what just happened. Yep, <laughs> wakes up in the filth room with puppykins. Doesn't leave, doesn't get a rest, <laughs> no, just passes out. Just thunk. Thunk. The entire point of this game is to try and get back our memories. Also, there's a paper. Um. Thank you. Jo Jennifer found floral letter. Sup, Amanda? <laughs> um. Hi. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. I don't think you're my friend! I really don't think you're my friend. Is there anything in here yet? Nope, just a creepy bag! Just a creepy bag. So we need to find ourselves an Amanda. And y'all know what that means! Hey, Huey! Pop! I want you to sniff something. Sniff this. Also, drop this. We don't really need it anymore. Drop that. We don't need it. And drop that. We don't need it. Go! Go, go puppykins, go! Oh, oh, oh. I go this way? Where do I go? Oh, I remember! Okay. For some reason I thought I went to the other side of the fish blimp, but no, I go to this side of the fish blimp. Fish blimp. Fish blimp. It's a technical term. The fish blimp. I'm coming, Houston. Houston. I keep calling him Huey! Brown! Brownster. Browster. Brewster. 
Brown. And he is... I, I played too much Haunting Ground. It's easier to play a lot more of Haunting Ground than it is of this game, because this game is still roughly 10 hours long. Shorter if you know what you're doing, like me. But And, and I can beat the aforementioned Haunting Ground in a single hour. Brown. You are brown. You are not Huey. You are better. Hi, Amanda. Mm, bye, Amanda. Wow. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Greta Tanager, and I am playing some Rule of Rings. I'll see you all in the next video.